according to the divine purpose of God. Amen. Amen. And so uh, we're gonna what we're gonna talk about today is how there is a synergy mm -hmm. that divine purpose will bring into your life. And uh, we're gonna start with a familiar verse that everyone knows, but today we need to evaluate and we need to assess mm -hmm. how, how much and to what degree is this scripture actually being fulfilled in your life. Wow. Come on. And the scripture is Romans 8 and 28. Mm -hmm. Romans 8 and 28. And while you're turning there, let me give you a definition of the word synergy. Synergy is the interaction of two or more agents or forces so that their combined effect is greater than the sum of their individual effects. i say it two more times. <laughs> Synergy. Mm -hmm. It's the interaction of two or more agents or forces so that their combined effect is greater than the sum of their individual effects. I know some of you are trying to write this down, and I usually have handouts, but I, I just didn't feel led to the Lord today because I said, well, there's going to be a little bit more people than usual, so they're going to have to get yeah. a CD. Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 That's right. Amen. One more time. Synergy. <laughs> the interaction of two or more agents or forces so that their combined effect is greater than the sum of their individual effects. So, so basically, when you have synergy, there's an interaction of people and or things. And this interaction results in a greater level of productivity or impact uh, that, that, that's greater than anything that you could have accomplished without that synergy, without that interaction. All right. Now, if we look carefully at Romans 8 and 28, everyone knows this scripture. But again, we need to assess to what degree is this really working in my life? Romans 8, 28 says, and we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. Amen? Amen. Now look at it very carefully because all things working together is synergy. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's synergy. Yeah. Okay. All things working together for good, that speaks to synergy. Okay. Things have interacted in such a way that they're producing an effect that causes you to be productive and have an impact. Yeah. Most, much more so than you could have done without the interaction of all those things. Yes. Come on, deep. deep. But the key word here is purpose. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Purpose. Purpose, divine purpose brings synergy into your life. Amen. Divine purpose now is going to result in things, people, uh, all sorts of things interacting together, right. Come on. Right. working together, moving together, so much so that you become much more productive. Right. How many of you know that kingdom citizens are not supposed to toil? That's right. That's right. Come on. 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 We're not supposed to toil. Nope. And there's a lot of us that we're working too hard to get nothing done. There's no synergy. Working too hard. Again, the, the epitome of that struggle is purpose. We're not lined up. We're not moving. We're not. We're, we're, and, 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 and some have yet to even discover purpose. Teach. And so God, when you when you when you when when you're not lined up, uh, it initiates a process uh -huh. that's designed now to get you into position. Uh -huh. And this is when the wind will begin to blow contrary in your life. Uh -huh. Come on. The wind will begin to be against you. And if you don't have discernment, if you don't flow, I'm not going to say you don't have it because it's in you, but you don't know that it's in you. That's the issue. The issue is not that you don't have it. You don't know that you have it. But the king of the prayer in me. That's the whole issue that a lot of us have. We don't know that it's in me. That's right. 
I'm not gonna stay on track. Yeah. Stay on track. Yeah. 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 And if I don't discern that the wind is my friend, yeah. uh -huh. Yeah. I will fight against the wind wow. that God has allowed to blow contrary with me because I'm headed in the wrong direction. Bye, bye, bye. It amazes me that when that happens, what pastors usually try to do, when, when things get tight and things aren't moving, yeah, yeah. pastors will usually try to do more of the same thing to fix it. Yeah. And that's the exact thing yeah. God is yeah. trying to move you away from. Yeah. Yeah. He's trying to do more of the thing that he's moving you away from to try to fix the wind that's blowing against you. Amen. Even in our own individual lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to get another part time job. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> He's trying to move you oh, yeah. oh, toward your divine purpose. Ah. This, the, 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 the struggle is a result of misalignment yeah. with divine purpose. Now, let's, 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 let's again revisit what, what Pastor Gerald said. A, de a simple definition of purpose is the original intent. Uh -huh. God's original intent, his original plan for placing you in the earth. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's what purpose is all about. God's original intent. Now, if you're like me, I, I was an adult before I even understood that I had a purpose. Yes, sir. Even like concept of that. So by that time, I had made a whole lot of choices on my own. Yeah. 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 Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And I found myself far removed from the original intent of God. So a process had to begin in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. The kingdom and purpose demands transition. Yes, it's yes. not an option. Yeah. 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 And like the way I explained it a couple, last week at Pastor Michael Taylor Church, if purpose, if it's your purpose, this is just an analogy now, if it's your purpose that you sit on this, in this chair and you're over there, kingdom and the purpose of God demands transition to get up from there and move in. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not an option. Yeah. Yes, it's not an option. If it was his original intent uh -huh. for you to be here, and you way well over there. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. If the man you get up yeah. and move. Yeah. Yeah. And the wind will blow until you move. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't you think the wind going on there? Yeah. And divine purpose that man, you get up from where you are and get lined up. Yeah. Because the struggle will persist as long as you don't move. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we want to say that the struggle is over. And I sung that song, the struggle still in there. Still wasn't over. The song won't change a thing if it's not relevant. Are you here? Yeah, we here, we here. Oh, let's talk about this synergy now. All right? So, things working together for good represent synergy. When there is synergy, people and things work together for you. And the result is the combined effect of those people and things causes a greater level of productivity without toil and pain. When there's synergy, there will be interaction among the people and things around me. The interaction of these things work in my favor and enable me to operate at an escalated level of productivity. All right, all right, all right. Divine purpose brings synergy yeah. into your life. Go to Acts chapter 17. It is a mandate. It is an absolute requirement, essential. And all those words, and even all those words that I can't even think of right now, that you discover your purpose. There's a lot of things. Provision is not your problem. Purpose is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes. Provision is associated with purpose. But the mistake we make again when provision is a challenge, we we are Sunday. Come on. I, I preached Matthew 6 a long time, Pastor Girl, but I had to learn how to live it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So you, at some at some point, at some point, you got to come out of that come school of, of theory. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, man. Yes, sir. Come on. And you got to come into school and, and get in the classroom of life where you learn yes. how to live. Yes. 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 Yeah, I preached a long time. Amen. My God. But I had to learn how to live it. Yes, sir. And when you learn how to live, Matthew 6, 33, you learn that I have to make decisions not based on provision. Yeah. Original intent. Yes. Yes. You can't make decisions based on your needs to receive provision. Yes, yes. If you want to learn how to, you want to learn how to script, live that scripture. Learn how to not make choices and decisions based on your need for provision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And make a choice based on purpose. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It might not pay as much, but that's where God would say I need to be. Yes. Acts 17. Let, let's look at this now because within purpose, I'm going to give you three components that must be resolved. If, you, if you're off with these three components, you, you, you're going to be off. And the struggle is going to pursue. The struggle is going to persist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Acts 17. Let's begin at verse 26. Are you there? Mm -hmm. yes, it says, And he has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And watch this now. Has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their habitation mm -hmm. so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grow for him and find him, though he is not far from each one of us. Verse 28 says, for in him we live and move and have our being, as also some of our, your own poets have said, for we are also his offspring. Mm -hmm. Within that particular text there, uh, we have to consider the fact that location, mm -hmm. position, and timing mm -hmm. are components of divine purpose. Yep. Mm -hmm. wow. Location, mm -hmm. position, and timing are components of divine purpose. That means I have to resolve the right location. That's a geographical component here. I got to be in the right location. God has assigned me to a specific location. You just can't move to Texas. All right, all right, all right. What I'm going to say in Texas is where I'm sitting. Location has to be resolved. Yeah, God. Yes. All right. Timing. All right. Mm -hmm. You got to move in the right timing. Yes, yes, yes. Timing has to be resolved. Mm -hmm. Now you can be in the right location, but your position in that location is wrong. Yeah. It has to be resolved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who's going to resolve it? Mm -hmm. The governor. Yeah, the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. My, my. So one of the things that you're gonna find, one of the things that you're gonna find about divine purpose, it cannot be figured out by means of your intellect. Oh my God! Oh, oh my teach. That's what got you in the mess you're in now. Yeah. Oh my! That's what got you where you are now. Doing things your way. You, you got that Burger King mentality. Yeah. <laughs> you need to have it my way. My my my. Come on, teach. They got that Burger King mentality. Yeah. How you want your burger? Yeah. God ain't asked you that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like Pastor Joe said, uh, the kingdom of God is not a democracy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. God has an original intent. Amen. Even for our own lives. So these three components you have to be mindful of. They have to be resolved. All right? So, uh, so watch this now. You will fail at resolving the right location, position, and or timing 
as long as you make decisions based on your need for provision, 